Hey guys, Tark. <clears throat> Whoa, sorry. Tark Recycling FPV here. Uh, it is 12.05 in the morning. I am now going on to my third day <laughs> of no sleep. So I can tell you that I'm probably going to be um, running out of juice here very soon. And uh, gonna, I might pass out in this video. Uh, but today was Mother's Day, or uh, it just ended about five minutes ago. And, you know, I realized that um, I didn't post on my website to wish uh, all, all of all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. And also to wish all the stepmothers out there as well who are doing a kick-ass job, including my own wife and amazing stepmother, uh, Samantha. Um, I will tell you, and I'll make mention of this very quickly, and I'll leave it after that, is it is very difficult to walk into a uh, very unhealthy and, 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 uh, uh, situation uh, and, and step in and actually do, you know, have no, understand, have no history of... Of, of being a parent or step parent and and taking control and just running the show in an amazing way and for all you step moms and you know I, obviously when it's Father's Day I'll say stepdads too but for all you step moms out there that actually care about these your the, the, your step kids like they're yours and love them like they're yours like they're your flesh and blood I tell you what it's a, it's an amazing thing especially when you have to deal with the constant nonsense and um, battle that a uh, a, a, a blood relative like a mother should know better than to do, you know. Uh, but in either case, sorry, that's my little speech. So to everybody, right, um, I hope you had a wonderful uh, Mother's Day and was, were able to spend it with your family properly. Um, okay, so uh, getting to this, I am actually going to do an HGLRC uh, video here. Uh, not, I'm sorry, not HGLRC. It's HGLRC uh, GPS. A customer of mine asked me to do it. Uh, I just got back here and he wrote me and asked me if I'd do a video real quickly. So I happened to be here. I was like, you know what, let's go do it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the GPS compass, um, the HGLRC right here. And this is the, yeah, this is the GPS compass combo. So let me go ahead and open that real quickly. I was hoping to just cut this nicely open and let's see what happens. And we are going to use the, um, the, uh, HAKRC F722, uh, flight controller, which is sitting right here, the F7 flight controller, which is right here. Okay, and we're just going to get these opened and let's see what we've got. All right, now, um, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so that looks good. All right. Now, as this sets up, I'm going to uh, make sure I make some notes here real quickly. So we do that. I do want to make sure that I have the right GPS, so give me a second, I'm just pulling it up on my site to make sure that I have the right one selected, and I believe I do, uh, but I just want to make sure. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Okay, so um, what we're going to be doing is we've got our, our connections here, and let's go ahead, and we are going to be cutting these wires, okay, so because I believe... And I'm gonna have to use my uh, magnifying glass here for just a second, so bear with me. So we have the, actually, um, this, yeah, it may, not, it may not be too bad. Uh, let me see how we wanna do this. We can do a direct, but I'm gonna try to see if I can take advantage of the pins that are on here. So uh, let me check here. So we have our SDA and our SCL, so we have our, our clock. SCL and SDA is right there. Um, you know, it's going to be kind of weird because there's a couple ways we can do this and I'm going to try to find the, the kind of the easiest way to do it, but I want to see the cable that they give us too. So one of the things that I'm looking at here is, um, that we can go, and I'm sorry, I keep pulling this off here because I want to make sure that I understand. I want to offer you the easiest way possible, right? So on our, on our, uh, let's see if we put this cable in, let me just see how this comes out, right? So if we put this cable in here, just like this, upside down, or you know, like this right here, right? So we automatically know that the yellow cable is going to be, and if we look at the pattern here, that's our SDA, okay? And we know the gray cable is SCL. So if we look here, we have SDA and SCL, but the pin here is uh, not the same size, right? So this wire harness goes right here. Uh, let me make sure I got that right. Don't want to bend these pins, and since I'm running on low fumes here, 
Okay, so we've got this cable in here. Now the question comes in, how do we want to attach this cable, right? So, uh, or I mean this one right here. So I assume now by looking at this that they are not giving us the harness for this one. So let me see how I want to make this work. Uh, okay, let me see what size harness we need. So that's going to be a one, two, three, four, five, six pin harness. And this is going to be a four. So that's not going to work. But let me just see if we can get it to fit as a four. No, it's too big. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can find it somewhere else. So bear with me a second. Okay, so we have SCL. Then we have ground TX, RX, and 5 volt. So really, it's a piece of cake except for these two right here. And I need to get that connected. So let me see how the best way is going to be to do this. Because uh, uh, that's not going to fit. And they literally don't give you the harness. But what did I say that was a 6 pin? Six, which would be something like this, I think. So, let me see, because, oh yeah, that's exactly what it is right there. So that's a six pin right there, right? And problem is this isn't, so it's kind of screwed. So let's see how we would do it. I mean, you have a couple options here, but I'm gonna see if I can find the pin out. So hold on one second. Now this cable doesn't come with it, so sorry, I know I'm kind of um, putting this here like that. Let's just see so this way I can use the magnifying glass without getting in y'all's way. Okay, so we're going to try to find the pin out here, right? Um, I don't think we're going to be able to find the pin out. Let me see. This is a nice board, man. I really do like this board. Uh... Well, unfortunately, and the, the thing is, is, it's got everything you need. This is actually a perfect setup for this, okay? So it's kind of weird because uh, one, two, three, it's six cables. And if you, were to actually, if you were to do this properly, you could manipulate these pins and you would not need anything. You would, you would one, two, three, four, five, this would be six. So they freely use this large connector here okay just like that it goes here right and the problem is that this the wiring is just too big this is the right wiring harness here for this one and I wish we could get these two to be more uh, in line with each other but it's not gonna happen so uh, to save to save all this but you, you got to look here is that you have you have SDA, you have, S, you have SEL, SDA, RX3, TX3, 5 volt and ground. I mean, you literally have everything you need here, but the pins are different. So I think what I would do, and, and I'm gonna kind of go first, uh, I'm gonna reach on this one, but I think what I would do is I would, and I hate to say this because if you don't have this pin, it's not gonna, if you don't have this cable, it's not gonna help you. So I'm gonna try this two ways, right? I'm gonna try it with a, um, see this is, a, it's a big cable right there, so let me just see. Yeah, that's not gonna work, but this must be what, an eight? Yeah, it's eight, okay. So if we found a good six. These are all eights. This looks like a six right here, but they're short. Let's try to find something that's a little longer, but ooh, that's not gonna happen. <coughs> um, <clears throat> Let's go back and look at this real quick. Well, while I hesitate to do this, I'm going to do it on my board just because um, I feel like I, you know, it depends on how good your soldering skills are, I guess. Um, you have two ways to do this, right? So you can easily just take a six pin cable. <clears throat> I mean, and they're pretty common and actually we have them on our website uh, and I'll put a link to that here. But you could take any six pin cable like these 
right? And cut them, uh, and then just make sure that they line up properly. So these pins are like this. So you would wanna probably go something like this here, okay? And then from here, you could easily just splice into any of these wires. So you would know that, you know, you've got uh, uh, all these going together like this, or you can pull this off. Now I'm gonna do this by pulling this off. So let me give you a better camera angle here, okay? And explain to you what I'm gonna do, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna remove uh, this harness here. Now, again, I would, I hate to do that because I know you can go this route also, but uh, um, it's kind of one of those things where you just gotta, you know, whatever your comfort level is. Um, so uh, let's assume that you have a good comfort level and you want to solder directly to the board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this here like this, okay? So let's take uh, I don't know, a pair of pliers here. There we go. And I'm just gonna wiggle this. Try not to demolish it too bad. But there's a, there's usually a good uh, a breaking point here where they'll just come off, but if they put these on really good, then that breaking point is a lot harder to find. chip at it until we can remove it. There we go, okay? So now it's completely removed, right? Now what you have exposed though are the actual pins that you can solder to. This is, if you're okay with the soldering, this should not be a problem for you. But if it's too tough of a soldering job, which I get it, trust me, it's, it's very tight, um, then I could see where this would be kind of an inconvenience, but I guess it all depends on where you're at. Now, if you would go to the other way, then we would use the cable, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So we're gonna have to prep the board. So let me go ahead and do that first. So just tin it up. Okay. Make sure that your soldering iron is very clean. All right. Just like that. Now, um, I am going to put the goggles on, I think, because I've got, these are very small pins, so I've got to be able to see. So let me try that real quick. Take my goofy glasses off. Let's put these goofy goggles on and put my big old bald head in the middle of the camera just like that. Put the light right about here, if I can. It should work. And hopefully. Oh, sweet. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've tended, I mean, I've, I've put the uh, flex, uh, sorry, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the flux on here and now I'm just gonna kind of go tin it real quickly and make sure that I can get this to stick. And to tin these, it, you know, don't worry if you bridge them, just kind of get it on there and then just swipe your soldering iron real quick, quickly forward, okay? And you will settle that, oops, settle that problem quickly. All right, so we're gonna leave these like this and I'm gonna stretch this out. So assuming that I'm going to here, I'll, I'll go ahead and cut this cable here There we go. And we're gonna start with the first wire, the yellow being SDA. So we're gonna start with SDA right here. Let's strip that one. Okay, and then make sure you tin it properly, please. This, you have got to be accurate with this soldering because there's no room for error when the things are this close. So I'm gonna tin one and I'm gonna see how it goes first. Okay, so let me do that right here. And I can zoom out of this, I guess. I didn't mean to stay so zoomed in, but I do want to see what this looks like. And so we can tell here that our SDA, where am I at? There's our SDA. It's the second one in line. So let me grab my tweezers. And just, I just want to see how it sticks. Okay, I want to make sure that I can get a clean, clean connection here. And that does, that's going to be very clean, actually, I think. I think we're going to be very pleased with this. Touch it real quick. Boom, done. Okay, so I think we're on the right path here. So now we wanna do SCL, which is gonna be the gray one. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. So let's go ahead and pull that. And again, we wanna strip about, oh, I don't know, um, two millimeters or so off of it. Uh, maybe a millimeter. No, that's too, about two mil, I guess, maybe. Um, and again, let's tin it. And you cannot have any strands coming loose on this, so please twist it tight. 
After you, after you put it in the flux paste, please twist it tight. And understand that the cable that comes with this GPS, when you heat this cable up, that silicone sheathing is going to pull back. So you will have more exposed wire. So just be careful that you don't get lazy with it and let it uh, be able to touch anything next to it. All right, so we've got two wires down perfect right now, okay? So the next wire is going to be our uh, RX in, which is gonna be our TX out, which in this case looks like it's gonna be the white one. So let's go ahead and grab the white wire. That's our TX, which is gonna to go to our RX on the board. All right. There we go, let's tin that up. Actually, yeah, I would probably take my the stripping of this down to about one mil because it's gonna burn off another mil when you heat this up. So please, just so that you don't leave too much exposed wire, just take a mil off, okay? All right, now don't, don't whatever you do, don't tin it up over the board. Good Lord, can you just sit still for a minute? There we go. See how it's gonna, it's gonna pull that sheathing back just a little bit. So now this is gonna go to the RX, okay? So that's the TX from the GPS going into the RX on the board. Okay. Let's get that lined up. And you gotta be very careful here. So let's do this and line it up straight as straight as you can and just perfect okay so there's the rx and then we're going to go to the let me turn the glue gun on real quick because i will no matter what i'm going to go over this with a glue to hold it in place all right so now we're going to go to the rx uh, which is going to be the green wire so again take about a mil off of that Flux paste, twist it real tight on there so the, the strands don't come loose. Okay, and then heat it up and you're gonna expose a little bit of it at that point. Perfect, okay. Now that is going to be the next thing that we do right here. Make sure you clean the tip of your soldering iron, please because that's so close that anything is going to bridge these if you're not careful. Okay, now, if everything's been going smooth and you're comfortable with it, just go ahead and use the rest. You've got your five volt and your ground, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But if you didn't wanna keep soldering that close, then you could put it on any five volt ground, but I'm gonna use this one, okay? So let's go ahead and do the one mil on that. Flux paste it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and strip the black one now too. I wanna to get, get these wire strippers away and focus on the programming of this next. So let's do this here. There we go. All right, so now let's just tin the both of these. There's one. Let's tin the red one. Five volt. I'm gonna get the cable to stand up here just a minute. Okay, so we it's gonna go five volt and ground. So we're gonna do five volt next. And again, you're gonna to wanna to be very careful and make sure, look, I mean, you see how shiny this, the tip of the soldering iron is, right? So it's clean, it's shiny, and it's not going to have a bunch of residue on it. So I know that if I touch this wire, I should get a pretty clean solder. All right, there we go. And then let's just do the ground. Perfect. Oh no, darn it. <laughs> I didn't hold it down long enough. Let me let me get some more on there. Okay, now there we go. So you can see now our wires are clean. Okay, so let me get this goofy goggles off my head and let's look at what we're talking about here. So let me zoom out here a little bit, or I guess I can zoom in. I don't think I'm going to get a very clear picture, but I can tell you that contrary to, I think the picture is coming off like it's messy, but this is actually a pretty clean soldering job. All the wires are, I guess if you angle it there, you can see them. They're very close, but they're not touching, and they're very straight. So at this point, what I would do is, if you are concerned about them touching, get your multimeter, 
All right, and let's just do a continuity test. There's no harm in doing that. Take your time and make sure everything's okay. So let's see. So first we're gonna to touch these. Okay, so we know that that's good. And now I'm just gonna go down the list here. So we've got ground, positive. Sorry, it's very difficult to do this when they're that close, but uh, let's do, well, you know what? I can just go here, I guess. I'll make it easy on myself. Uh, I'll just touch these areas here. So here's one, two, three, four, five. So that's good. One, two, three, four. That's good. One, two, three. That's good. One, two. That's good. And then one. Let me go back here one more time. Yep, everything's good. So we've done. Uh, we've we've done it now. So the soldering is done. Everything is hooked up. Okay. And I can take these goofy goggles off now. And now let's apply some power. And, uh, sorry, let me zoom out here. And uh, sorry for the messy table, guys, but let's see how it goes. Okay, let me put this multimeter away real quick. By the way, if you need a good multimeter, guys, we have these on our website. Very inexpensive and uh, very good, very dependable. All right, now on the GPS, I believe that this is gonna power through the USB, but I, I'm gonna find it for sure here in a second. So let me give you a Let's give you a, um, let's do it like this. Let's do that. <coughs> and then let's, uh, let's open Betaflight right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and let's connect our uh, flight controller. All right, so we're not getting our voltage to this, so that kind of sucks. I'm going to have to put some voltage to here. <sighs> Let me see. Um, I'm trying to think of the easiest way to do this. And I'm thinking that it may be to take these pads off, but let me just check real quick. Let me, get, let me look at something. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue down on here. I just wanna keep these wires as flat as possible. So let me just put some hot glue right here okay and that is going to guarantee me that these wires aren't going to move at all and that's most important right now so let's do that and then as far as the fiber goes man that's really disappointing i was really hoping that was going to power it up uh from the usb i guess but it's not going to so hmm. i'll tell you what i'll just solder off of here two wires and we'll use that uh for our five volt, I believe. I want to see what we get from the from this here. So let me see. Let me turn this on because the, the the toolkit RC. This is this is let me let me just show you what I'm doing here. This is actually pretty cool. There. So let's look at this. So we can go to our output. Oops. Go to our settings, and it'll tell us right here. I believe it's um. Uh, where is it? Maybe. Okay, so we can tell it what, what voltage we want out. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and select it for five volts right here. And then I think what I'll do is I'll just use a pinout if I can to make it happen and make it easier on me. But let me find out if I even have that as an option. Um, I think I do, I think I do, so let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here, just like this. I don't wanna just, I'm gonna test with the, I'm gonna test with the meter if I'm getting five volts out onto the wire. So let's see what we get. So here's our 
positive in our ground. And then all I want to do is make sure that I have it here. Okay, let's go ground. Let's put this on first. Uh, 5.25. Oh, it's a little off. Um, so let's... Let's see how close this gets. So let's see, I, I dropped down to like 4.8. Let's see what the actual is. I don't know what the heck's going on my phone. So no matter what, it looks like it's 5.25. Okay, so, I mean, I'm not, I'll just leave it like that. Oh, you know what? My bad. Okay, so now it's... <laughs> let me see now if it does it. This should be 5. Oh, let's see. I think. Let's see if it's going to give me exactly... No, it's going to give it to me on this side. <sighs> So that's coming as my output, and I didn't really want to mess with that. So, all right, well, anyways, I, I, we're just wasting time here. So let me go ahead and do a 5.25 to here, and I think we're going to be just fine. So um, I'm going to solder two wires very quickly. Let me just find two wires here real quick. Um, or even... Holy crap, guys, I'm really sorry. I didn't expect it to take this long. Uh, but I want to make it right. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt to try and make it right. All right, so uh, let's see. I will use this. So I'm going to cut this off here. Okay, and I'm going to take the five volt in the ground. So let me move this out of the way. I'll take the five volt. I'm going to take the ground. Tin them up. Just like this. Okay. Get on the ground. So five volt. Turn that off and come over here. And, oh, I didn't, uh, didn't tune that yet, so let me turn this up. Okay. And now where is my solder? Here it is. So this will be five volt right here. This will be ground right here. Perfect. Now, hopefully, if I do this right, we should hopefully have something positive coming out of this other than, let's see. Yep, so there we go. And now we have, as you can see, our GPS is now lit up, so we're good to go there, okay? So let's go ahead and plug this in. We've got our GPS up, everything's looking good, right? So now, sorry for the messy table, but I am kind of crunched for room here. Um, my apologies. I will try better. Right now, it has been a cramped workspace. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna get into beta flight. <clears throat> and Let's go ahead and connect real quick, <clears throat> and let's see uh, what our, there, let's do this, and let's see, first of all, let's go down, let's go to our CLI type version, and we are running the HA cares. okay, so let's go ahead and do a firmware update, so, Okay. 
So we'll flash the board real quick. Go to the newest update. Uh, you can see our GPS is blinking. So we should be good there. So we're just gonna set this up and see. Now there is an issue, and I will tell you now, that you cannot pick, and I don't think it's been changed, but there was an issue with picking US satellites, right? So we're not gonna do that in this case. Um, and I'm gonna let you know exactly what we're gonna do here in just a second. Let me just look over this. Okay, let's wait for the flashing to get done and you should be good to go. This place is a mess. Ooh, I'm gonna have to work on this, it's embarrassing. But it's not my fault. Well, maybe it's my fault, but I don't wanna take the blame for it right now. And I'm a lot to say it. All right, let's connect. And then let's go ahead and, um, whoops. Let me wait for it to boot back up real quick. Let me power it off, I'll cycle. Oh wait, I can't cycle it. There you go. We'll connect. Let's go ahead and apply our defaults. Okay, and <clears throat> now uh, let's go to our configuration. Wait, first of all, we did this into, uh, what, what port was that? Um, let me see. Now I can't read over this stupid thing. Now I think it was three, I think it's three. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and I'm gonna put sensor input GPS, click save and reboot. Reboot for three. Okay, let me connect. I'm gonna go to my configuration. I'm gonna go down to my GPS settings. I'm gonna turn it on. And I'm gonna set it to U-Blocks. I believe this is still gonna be, I have to check, hold on. I believe that's gonna be, yeah. Okay. And here is where we're talking about. So um, I'll leave it like this to show you what I'm talking about, but watch. So let's save that real quickly. Let's connect. Let's go to GPS. Okay, so right now it's trying to acquire signal, right? So keep a watch on it because well, let's get something. I just think that the satellite D count has been, it was bad before, but I don't know if they, maybe they fixed it for all I know. All right, so let's just see. Now, I will tell you if I go back to configuration and we'll, we should be able to test real quickly if they've done that by picking anything other than USA. And honestly, it looks like it's not picking up, so that's actually pretty good. All right, so it does look like they may have fixed it, so let me go back and do that real quick. Okay, now let's see what happens. And I'm sitting inside this building, so yeah, so there you go. So it is gonna start acquiring. It's just that I'm sitting indoors, so I, there's not much I can do, okay? So anyways, um, that's exactly how you're gonna wire it, and that's how you're gonna set it up, right? Now, I'm waiting to see, there's more, there's more obviously some more beta flight settings that we can do for the GPS. I'm just waiting to see if this is gonna populate properly or not. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little leery about it, but, uh, I mean, it shouldn't be a problem here. Let me see, if I do anything else, does it jump or not? Yeah, you see, so I'm, I'm getting a signal again on the Japan setup. So, I mean, it's, I'm just trying to see if I can get something to happen here. Uh, so, that being said, I guess there is no benefit now. I don't know if they've taken care of it or not, but I can tell you that if you do have issues, change this. Okay, and then uh, you should be okay. And, and they'll, I think they're going to start forwarding all the, uh, um, I think that it's going to, sorry, it's going to do the satellites no matter what now. So kind of babbling here because I'm tired, I apologize. Um, okay, so uh, anyways, I'm gonna stop this here. Uh, 
I'll stop that here because I, I got I to gotta make sure I get this done. All right, so, all right, guys, so that's how you're going to wire it up. And then uh, you can set your beta flight settings. If you have any problems with the beta flight settings, hit me up. Uh, just go to my contact page uh, right there and uh, send me a contact about this, and I'll help you out as best I can to get that taken care of. And as always, please follow us on Facebook, and please uh, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'd love all the support I can get. It would be greatly appreciated. Okay, guys? Other than that, God bless. Spend time with your family, guys. It's the most important thing to do right now, and you never know how much time you have left. So make the most of it, please. Uh, other than that, peace and safe flying. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye. <laughs>